Hey guys, it's Fonzie with Dip Your Car, and we have some experiments to do today. Dude, you know what I should do? I should be wearing a lab coat during these experimental videos. Picture me in a lab coat. So, a little while ago, we did a video on glow pigments, very popular. Then we did a video on thermochromic pigments, very popular. Ever since then, of course, there are hundreds and hundreds of comments asking us to use thermochromic and glow pigments together. And you guys know me by now. Even if I think an idea makes no sense at all, if enough of you guys ask for it, I'm probably going to give it a try. This channel's about you guys, not about me. So today we're going to try to combine thermochromic pigments and glow pigments. Enjoy the video. So you may be asking yourself, how are we going to approach this experiment? How can we have glow pigments and thermochromic pigments work together to get a cool end result? Well, it's a good question because for a while, I didn't know how to approach this experiment either. I don't think you mix the two powders together. I think it's gonna create a mess and it's just gonna be a waste of product. And I don't think you put the glow over the thermochromic. I think our only shot to get something really sweet out of this is to put the thermochromic pigment over the glow. So what we have here is Gabe sprayed me two extra large speed shapes. They both have a white base and they are heavily covered in our Crypto Bright Glow Pigment. Now, if we put the thermochromic over the glow, it'll be black thermochromic. And when the heat hits the black thermo, it turns it translucent and you'll see the glow pigment underneath. But here's the million dollar question. How is the glow pigment going to get a chance to charge, because light is what charges the glow pigment, if it's covered by the black thermo. So here's the loophole. There's a theory or rumor that heat can actually charge glow pigments. We haven't tested it yet. We're going to test it live on camera with you guys. Because if heat can charge glow pigments, then the hot water going on top of the thermo, which turns the black thermo translucent, would then immediately be charging the glow pigment, which would then glow, you know, I don't know. We're gonna try it. We'll see what happens. All right, three coats of black thermochromic down on the speed shape. And as you can see, it is full solid black. It looks gorgeous. No glow pigment to be seen. So the question first is, let's just make sure everything works as it's supposed to. Gabe's going to pour a little bit of hot water right down there in the back end. And it sh the black should go away and we should see the glow underneath. Perfect. Works like a charm. To do the exact same thing, but with the lights off. Okay, thermo speed shape with glow underneath, hot water coming in in three. I don't know where the speed shape is. Two, one. Wow. It's actually working. The hot water is charging the glow through the thermo. The thermo's coming back and it's fading pretty quick, but it actually worked. I can't believe that worked. And here's the aftermath, look. This is the speed shape with all the glow coming through the thermo in the back, still holding that black color. And then cold water, bringing that thermo right back. You would never know there's glow in the dark pigment underneath. That was actually pretty fun. What? You gotta do that while it's glowing. Do what while it's glowing? Oh. You gotta hit it while it's glowing a little bit hard. All right, we wanna play with one more thing. Hit it with hot water, get the thermo to go away, charge the glow all in one shot, and then in the dark, hit it with cold water and see if we can completely wipe the glow completely out. All right, hit it with the cold. Oh, peace out, glow.
Wow, that works really well. So what did we learn today? Well, first thing, we learned that you can charge our Crypto Bright glow-in-the-dark pigment with heat, and it actually works pretty darn good. We also learned that you can cover a glow-in-the-dark pigment with thermochromic pigments, and as the heat applied changes the thermo pigment, it instantly charges the glow in the dark, and the glow shows through, which is not only badass, that is not what I expected to happen at all. And we learned that experiments like this create a swimming pool in the middle of our paint booth. Now, does this make sense to go full scale? I don't think it does. I don't think it makes sense for anybody to take what we did today and spend the money to do it full scale on their vehicle. However, Maybe wheels. What if you had black thermochromic wheels during the day, and as they heat it up at night with the brakes, the heat makes the thermo go away and the glow come through? I don't know. Not suggesting that you try that. Maybe something for a future video. If you want to dip your car, we have a ton of colors to choose from. Click up here. It'll bring you to our car kits. And if you have any questions at all, you know what to do. Contact us at DYC. We'll do everything we can to get you answers to the questions that you have. It's Fonzie. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the experiment. And thank you for subscribing to our channel. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys on the next video. But that's okay. Now, is this practical for a full-scale application? Nah, paint booth. Now, is this, is this anything here in the middle of our paint booth? Now, is this... I already forgot everything I said. So what did we learn today? Well, first thing is we... I literally forgot the whole thing.